Today's Google Doodle in US and Mexico celebrates Mexican American journalist, educator, nurse and activist Jovita Ida, a pioneer in the fight for Mexican American civil rights at the turn of the 20th century. During the first Mexican Congress, which met the week of September 14 to 22nd in 1911, Idar was elected president of the League of Mexican Women, a feminist organization ahead of its time in uniting women around the critical educational, social, and political issues facing the Mexican-American community. Jovita Idar was born in the border city of Laredo, Texas in 1885 at a time when Mexican-Americans faced rampant discrimination in the state. Determined to stand up for her community, she became a teacher in 1903, but later resigned to join her father's influential activist newspaper, La Cronica, The Chronicle. Through her articles, Ida spoke out against discrimination, fought for women's suffrage, and affirmed the importance of Mexican culture. In 1911, she and her family helped establish the first Mexican Congress to organize Mexican Americans across Texas in the fight for civil rights. Building upon the female participation in the Congress, Ida then founded the League of Mexican Women and served as its president. In 1914, Ida continued her groundbreaking journalism career at El Progreso, the Progress newspaper. Never afraid to make her voice heard, she expressed her criticism of the U.S. Army's involvement in the Mexican Revolution in an editorial, which resulted in an attempt by Texas Rangers to shut the publication down. When officers rode up to the El Progreso office, Ida stood in their way and forced them to turn back, a yes, scene recreated in today's Google Doodle artwork. Despite Ida's bravery, the rangers returned the next day and shut down El Progreso, but Ida refused to be silenced. She returned to La Cronica and eventually ran the paper with her brothers, using its pages to continue her pursuit for justice. In 1917, she moved to San Antonio, Texas, where she carried her activism forward as a prominent leader in the city's community including opening a free kindergarten, serving as a Spanish translator at a local hospital, and teaching child care and uh, feminine hygiene.